the art of dressing well. When it comes to professional dress, simple rules typically apply and proper business style actually isn't as difficult as it seems. We've put this video together thanks to a request from Davison Rosa in Brazil and Connoisseur. Davison says, thanks man, great content. Could you please record a video of how to style in a professional environment in Brazil? Overcoat looks are too much for our weather. For example, could you please give us some tips? Connoisseur says, love your vids. I definitely added some of these items to my rotation this winter. Can we please do formal wear next? Well, all right then, gentlemen. Let's jump right into looking your very best in a professional setting. Um, okay, not so fast. Before we get started, it's important for us to address the common mistakes gents typically make with suit styles from oversized to super tight fitment to poor dress shirt and tie selection inappropriate accessories and poor choice of dress shoes in this video we'll be following a step-by-step -step dress process so your style never skips a beat first let's start by picking a suit don't overthink this for business occasions a solid pinstripe or lightly patterned suit in a neutral color such as navy, gray, or even black will do perfectly fine. For the purpose of this video, we'll go with the unpopular yet common black suit to suffocate any excuses of why you can't be this well-dressed because you could find a black suit just about anywhere. With suiting, the most important things to consider are sizing and tailoring. Now that's an entirely separate topic, so please check out the how to measure chest size video and our how to tailor suit video. Both are linked in the description below. Since we've chosen a simple black suit, we've picked a pair of forest green socks to lighten things up and add a tiny bit of flair. Next up, we'll need a solid pair of dress shoes to show that we really mean business. There are quite a few solid options for formal shoes, ranging from Oxfords or whole cut lace-ups, monk straps, or a sleek pair of loafers. Just remember, when selecting a choice of dress shoes, aim for a slim rounded toe construction for modern and sophisticated touch. Dark brown or black leather are fail proof and are always great choices. And since we've opted for a black suit, let's go with a dark brown pair of double monk straps for contrast and to make our black suiting more businesslike. Next, let's pick a dress shirt. The dress shirt is the foundation of your suit style. Now the most important aspect of selecting a dress shirt is the collar width. Ensure the collar of your dress shirt is about three to three and a half inches wide. In our opinion, a spread or semi-spread cut works best. This avoids the unsightly small collar issue that plagues most men when it comes to business style. A wider collar offers a more masculine appearance and most of all, allows you to properly house any tie width from traditional, modern, or skinny just perfectly. A second rule to consider when picking a dress shirt is to stick to lighter colors in a solid or light pattern. Our next task is to pair our pink and black combination with a nice complementary tie. Think of your tie as an anchor to your suit, a standout accessory that pulls the entire look together. Now it's important to note, for a modern aesthetic, opt for a tie with cotton, wool, or textured silk fabric. Avoid super shiny fabrics as these just tend to look dated. Ah, a navy patterned wool on a pink dress shirt. That'll do it. Next up is our tie knot. Stick with the half Windsor tie knot as this offers a very flattering knot that distinguishes the shirt and tie knot from the body of the tie. Finally, complementing set of accessories to bring the very best out of our suiting ensemble. A pocket square is always a great touch, but it's also powerful enough to throw off the professionalism in your suiting ensemble. A great rule of thumb is to opt for a solid or lightly patterned square that doesn't match but is complementary to your dress shirt or tie. This could get quite detailed, so let's save this topic for another day. To keep things simple, we'll stick with the undefeated solid white square. A neat little trick is to hold your square with the safety pin inside the lining of your suit blazer. This avoids it moving around in your pocket throughout the day. Now with wrist accessories, also try to keep things in the wood, leather, and metal family. And that means strongly consider staying away from watches and accessories with silicone straps. A stainless or quality leather watch brings a ton of sophistication to your suit game. 
and that just can't be matched. And that's it, a solid professional look that'll turn heads and help you stand out from the crowd. So go out there and smash that interview, secure a new client, be the best dressed guy in the office, or make a mark at that annual business conference. Whatever it is your heart desires, you will certainly be looking the part. And if you're in the market for a new suit, please be sure to check us out at s-gents.com. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this segment of SG Style Notes. Please keep the content suggestions rolling in and kindly consider subscribing to our channel. On behalf of our entire team, we'd sincerely appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, have an outstanding day and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.